Hi guys, so this short video is about how you would go about editing a document um, in Word that a student might have sent you to be able to give feedback. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to the review tab and we're going to turn on track changes. Um, and that's going to mean then that any changes that we make, we're going to be able to see. Now, depending on which version of Word you're using, your changes will show up as these little red lines here or otherwise they'll show up as text. So you can have red lines where it's showing that you're changing parts or if you don't want to see the changes that you're making, you can just have that here. So for example, we can start off and we're going to give this a title. Um, as a suggestion to a student. Um, and as you can see there, it shows that that's a change that I've made once I click on that bar there. So once you've done that, so that's about track changes and you can do that all the way through if you want to change spelling, if you want to change sentence structure and then the students can see what you adjusted. Um, the other thing that I quite often do when I'm giving feedback to students is I'll highlight a section where there's something in particular I want them to change and I go add new comment. Now this comment then I can write what it is I would like them to do. So in this case, I'd like them to write it in a paragraph form and make sure that they have written it in past tense and third person. And there's my comment there. Um, now, if we were using this as a document and we're talking between us, they might do reply if they've got the same version of Word as I do. Um, and other versions of Word, they might not have that option at all. Um, students then, when they come back to this, once they're finished with that comment, they can delete the comment and then they wouldn't be able to see it. The same for their track changes. They can accept or reject the changes um, that they find. Um, and then you might end up with a document that looks something like this. So they've got changes all the way there and little bits of feedback as we go through um, so that they can get the information that they need. Now, like I talked about, um, the benefit of this is that you can actually put a whole lot more information than you'd be able to do if this student had just printed out this particular document for me. Um, and my other video is going to walk through how you could go about adding the sections of audio to this as well. Um, okay, so thanks guys and have a great day.